Hey, what? there's some things hot happening here in Africa. That's, that's right. Gonna, that's going to make a change. Don't you think so? I think so. Oh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. And I got these two gentlemen, Olinaka to my right and Frank over here to my left. And we're going to converse a little bit to let you know what's going on. But first of all, let me tell you something. Please like it, subscribe, comment, and definitely share so you have an understanding and you'll be totally behind the Gen Z that are out here trying to make a change in things. There's a change coming on. Oh, mm -hmm. what do you think about it? I think There's so. There's a change coming on, Frank. Africa, yeah. 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 What's the change Nigeria, coming on? the whole oh. Africa. Ah. We want change. We want change. Ah. We, want change. Well, yeah, we, we want change. That's uh, right. Uh, tell me, what's going on in Nigeria? What um, is happening in Nigeria today? <laughs> okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Emmanuel, but my mom are here. My grandma here calls me Odinaka. Okay, let me let's let's go straight to the point. Um, you asked the question, what's going on in Nigeria? Well, in Nigeria currently now they are holding a protest against the bad government. Yeah. The bad government in Nigeria. That's well, right. But Nigeria been having bad government for a long time. They just now protested. Yes. Yes, they've been having bad government for a very long time. But this time around, it is different because the hunger in Nigeria has increased to the, to the I mean, it has gone beyond imagination. Nigeria is hungry? I, you know, what I don't understand is that why is a country that is they say nigeria is one of the richer countries in in africa. in in africa that's right and i know they're rich in education but i mean i've met most of the people i've never ever met when i was in the united states was people from africa i mean nigeria they're just super intelligent i mean they're intellectuals i mean they're really sharp and and, and nigeria has problems yes it, one could say and uh, the giant of africa is having um food crisis whereby this the country nigeria is is really is now the poorest country so far it's really bad that's how bad it is a black whereby a food. poor man cannot even afford a common food like bread a black people you know when black people don't have food it's some problem it's a big problem africans don't have food <laughs> just like they say right. a hungry man is an angry man yeah, yeah. you, See, you can't expect why, why are we angry why 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 you well why my are brother you, you can't say the same thing in nigeria because um the boko haram have taken over the system when it comes to farming where a young man goes into the farm to to farm and you have this fulani henchmen this boko haram they get raped we have cases like in uh, we have cases of people being raped in their farm we have cases of their crop being destroyed how do you expect them to farm that's what is going on in Nigeria. And these people, I can tell you for free, they are being funded by the government. The government have, no, in fact, the government know what is happening. This is just their own way of trying to control the society. But you have seen where it has landed them. Control them to stay broke and poor. You can't get taxes if everybody's broke. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. The philosophy. <laughs> And, yeah, I don't understand that. Well, they, don't, they are not why seeing it from that angle. Why is Nigeria government eating themselves up? They are not seeing it from that angles, and that's to tell you that they are being manipulated. It is all about their selfish interests. What comes into their pocket is what they care about, not what a common man eats. That's the problem. But out there, there's marching today. Some of those people are common people too. Because look, if you have a business and you you have a business and your 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 people around you can't make any money, you you, you I mean, you, you you don't get you don't make any money either. That's the point. But they are not seeing it from that angle. It's more like somebody is being paying them off to to keep the system like that. Well, we've seen where, where where it has landed them. Okay, did you see the video that went viral? where a man went fully naked he chose to die in the protest than to die inside that's what is happening in nigeria now most people are thinking in this direction but i can't understand i can't not understand it let me say this i can't understand it. some of the smartest people that 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 we have in the world i can say the world 
are in or come from Nigeria and in Nigeria and some outside of Nigeria. I guess looking in. I don't understand this. But Boko Haram, tell me about Boko Haram. Boko Haram can hold 271 million people. And you got an army of at least you got to have an army. Of, if, they, if they put for this, let me, did you hear this? For this. Uh, march they have on the government. These young people that are marching, Zen Z, that's who you have, have had enough, and we don't want any more. They said they put out 30,000 policemen to maintain those people. How come they can't send 30,000 troops out there to Boko Haram, and why can't they guard the farms and set up a police camp out there or a military camp with guns, tanks and everything and hold them people to Boko Haram. How do those people of Boko Haram get in? They're hiding in the bushes, which is not hard to do, but to say that they got that they're coming in and that Nigeria cannot hold them back. Don't they have any people that are trained militarily? They do. Like I said, these people are being sponsored by the government because it takes them nothing to flush out these people. Well, if you why, cut out why? their supply, they run out of they run out of supply. It is easier to to to, to get them. That's well, if you don't want to. But these people keep supplying to them, and that's why they have the effortry to be doing what they are doing. Okay. From what I read about Boko Haram, is that the Boko Haram is an Islamic state. That's right. It's Islamic, not a state. It's not just a, state. a bunch of people yes. that are Muslim, and it's Muslim people out there. And on the farm, where they go. And going? the same Muslim people. And how someone I spoke to said, these are different set of Islamic people. Yeah, it's a different set of Islamic people. They don't, they don't think like the way a normal Muslim man. They don't believe in the same. It's not, it's not as if, I don't know how to explain it, but he said they are different from them. Okay, well, based on what we read, you read it too, right? Yeah. That this book all around started in about 1999, but it got effective in... Uh, about 2000, Boko Haram 2004, uh, 2004, and, and Boko Haram started to, and the purpose of Boko Haram was for employment, people didn't have employment, they were fighting for people to have the employment, they were fighting for uh, food equality, they were fighting for, the, for uh, against the, the, the oppression of Nigeria to support, to bring that country up. That was, so you're going to you, you're gonna tell me the same people that this was what their fight was for first. They, in fact, it was like they weren't thugs at first, and all of a sudden they turned into thugs. What's Haiti is I fighting for their country. Haiti mm -hmm. has been a country the United States has had kept destabilized ever since they fought for their freedom, freedom and got their freedom. The United States has terribly destabilized Haiti, and they have taken their leaders out, and they have destroyed them. That's why I'm talking, because you young people out there marching, you need to keep marching, and you need to find out why you are marching, so you can make sure to get what you need right. And it's more than about food, it's more than about jobs, it's more than about the, the, the uh, uh, security, it's more than about, you need to know what the government is doing and how they're manipulating you because it's easy to give you some food it's easy to give you a job but it's not easy to manage and run your country right you have you have food food is there but the money is up because you got people over loaning overdoing things you don't have people that are very interested in the government everybody's thinking about what i need what you need so you're marching but you need to keep marching to make sure it's complete you need sovereignty in your country for one thing you got all these. They say the reason why terrorist groups operate is so they can destabilize the country. Tell me why would Boko Haram want to destabilize the country? Boko Haram is not associated, and neither is ISIS, with any specific country. Why are they trying to be empowered? Are you telling me that, what's his name, Tanubu, your president, is the author and the finisher of Boko Haram and ISIS? Because he's the government. Why? Haiti is totally different. That farmer did not fight not to be a slave. That farmer is not a country. Nigeria is the country. Those people are 11 million in Haiti and that's their country. 
and they're fighting for their revolution to stop having people to pick their presidents and pick their prime ministers and pick. They say they vote, but they vote. The people that they put in office are people that the, the powers that be want. They're puppets. Well, in Nigeria, currently now, I can tell you, is not everybody in Nigeria is really happy about this protest. There are three kind of people, three segment of people in Nigeria. Currently, there are segment of people who don't want the protest. And their hashtag is no protest. They are the same, they are another segment of people. They are not even doing anything. They are not in, in, in the protest. They are not against the protest. They are just sitting and watching. Yeah, because they don't know and, why other people are protesting. Because and there's another eating. group of people. Those of, are the people, people. that are eating. Those are people that are getting food. Those are people that got jobs. They got good ones. So why would they, why, why, why are they protesting? They don't bother them. But to me, I believe in one Nigeria. But it's obvious that we can't have one in Nigeria because religion and tribalism has really dealt with us in Nigeria. It has dealt with us. And that is what is killing Africa today. So you, you're telling me, are you saying that what we're saying is hope or is it hopeless? I mean, even if we get rid of, you get rid of Tanubu and get another president. And then, you know, it's one thing. Uh, be careful because President Trump likes Obi. I don't know who Obi is. But when Americans, like when American uh uh, folks, a government like somebody, that means they ain't no good, they not know any good either. <laughs> There's something weak, they can control them too, mm -hmm. something wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, then I like him. Well, we got to, you know, we're going we gonna to play that for you so you can hear. Well, one video a few years ago, he said the United States, I mean, uh, Africa was a country, right? And then the next video, he's talking about how progress Africa. But then in his progression of Africa, he's not talking about jobs in Africa. He's just talking about giving them a little comfort and making sure they have medical and making sure they get some aid. But he's not talking about Africa being built and jobs. He talked about uh, jobs in Louisiana, that there was an African country here and, and uh, that was going to help build jobs in Louisiana for Americans. Because Trump is looking out for Americans. So you Africans listen to him. This, this, is, not, this is not a change of puppetry. There's not a whole lot of difference between Trump and Biden when it comes to black folks. I'm going to let you know that. There's not. You have to be careful of listening to people say something nice. And you sit back and say, okay, the problem is solved. It's going to be taken care of. We have voted. <laughs> and we, 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 you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he said he wanted peace. He wanted um, Africa. Uh, Africa to have peace, with, of which, <clears throat> when we look into what he said about peace, this is for their own interest. Yeah, well, they're trying to make peace over there in Ukraine, but in order to get rid of Russia, they sent billions of dollars worth of equipment. I look at what they sent to Nigeria for all that time they've been fighting Boko Haram and ISIS and all that, but they sent little jive time equipment over here. Why don't they give you the bombs and the tanks and everything to get rid of Boko Haram? It no, would be no problem. What is the reason? What is the purpose? They say they help you. What, what, what is it? Is your president tell them, no, we only want so much help. We don't want any help since the government of, of Nigeria is thought that it's the, it's the government's fault. The government's reason is there are, is the government telling them, Oh, we don't need really need to get rid of Boko Haram because it causes a little bit of trouble, but not a whole bunch of trouble. I mean, they kill a lot of people out there, but we're not worried about it. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're saying? Well, they are not. They are not putting it in that in that way. They are not saying it like the way you just said it. <laughs> their <laughs> action is speaking. <laughs> their action is speaking louder than their voice. You see, that's the problem. They tell you they are fighting them, but they are not. They are not because these same people are not. You can't. You can't. You can't withstand the whole. Let's say you. Let's just, let's just imagine that these people are, are about uh, two thousand, for example. And you take out. You bring. You bring ten thousand soldiers. Are you telling me that two thousand will overtake ten thousand? It's not possible. They just. They don't just want to do the job. 
They yeah, don't just, want, they why, don't want. Why, what I want to know is why? Why is, you know, if somebody doesn't work and doesn't do anything and doesn't improve, you want to know why. Is, I want to know why is it that some of the most intelligent people in the world are coming out of Nigeria. Wh wh some uh, of the best doctors in the world are coming out of Nigeria. Some of the most prolific teachers and instructors and scientists and singers and everything are coming out of Nigeria. And you're telling me? It's more like saying that why, why is it that the, the, the governors, the politicians need the talks? I mean, the talks out, out there. These are uned uneducated people. Why do they need them? They need them for election. When election comes, you see their hand, you see what they are good at. Yeah, because I know I see okay, what they're good to, at. Okay, let me answer your questions mm -hmm. now. When a president or a governor fails to do what they want to, they want the Godfathers, for example, wants he or she to do. What they do is they send out those people to put, to to, to you know to make the the, the state hot that the guy will start dancing to their tune because the whole blame will come back to who is ruling you see the point now yeah I the see whole the blame point. the whole blame will come to who is who is ruling at that particular time that's why they keep them there to control to control not because they don't they don't they don't they can't take them out they just need them to control who is they is they Outside I mean, the, 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 the Boko Haram them. The Boko Haram. They need the Boko Haram to control some situations. They need that, Boko Haram because that's what they are for destabilizing the government. That's, for that's, destabilization of the government. For destabilization of the government. Why is it, you know, if you come to my house and I got roaches in my house and I can give you all kind of reasons about the roaches. You tell me, Janetta, they got some strong roach killer. In the store, why are you using the roach? Why are you killing the roaches with your shoe? When you can get this strong roach killer and kill them, get them out of the way, mm -hmm. and get rid of them, right? That's right. But I'm hitting them with the shoe. You would say, Janetta, you really don't want to get rid of those roaches, wouldn't you? That's wouldn't what you I would say. Because you would have. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, wouldn't you tell me that? Yeah, that's what I would say. Well, why is it that uh, they don't want to get rid of the roaches, Boko Haram, ice, and all that? Why is it they don't want to get rid of them roaches? From what he said, I think uh, this Boko Haram, and uh, they're part of the government. They have to be. Mm. Because otherwise, they'd get them. You would tell me, Janetta, those roaches are part of you. That's why you don't get rid of all of them. You want to keep some of them. Yeah, why, wouldn't they, why wouldn't they be part of them? We're a country that does not... We don't have rules. We don't have laws. Laws that these people make. You mean you don't obey the they laws? They don't obey the laws. They write it and they don't follow oh, it. Oh, you, you're a democracy. You got rule of order and all that kind of stuff. The, rule, the rule of orders. Nobody's following it. No right is following the rule. Look at what happened at the twenty-three, uh, the the, the uh, last year uh, election. Tinubu broke the laws. The 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 the, the INEC broke the laws. The, oh, the, now you mentioning some other things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you mentioned the IMF. No, you know? INEC. INEC. Yes, INEC. INEC is the electronic. Uh, 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 ah, the electronic like we have, like we have. Yeah. Well, we have some of the same thing. I know what you said. Yeah, to hear internet, INEC. call it NEC. Neck. Okay, neck. neck yeah. That's the people that electoral thing that pick yes. the yes, yes. pick the president after you yes. voted, and they yes. pick somebody. Right. Else. They yeah. broke the laws. They broke the laws. Well, there are many laws that uh, have been broken, and many constitutional rights that have been disturbed. Now, the people right now are marching, and uh, from take it from an old woman. Every time we've ever marched, and they gave us a little bit of something, we withdrew. And they made it worse the, the, the next time than it was the first time. But we settled back and we felt like we got weary and we just haven't done anything. If you out there marching, the people are going to die and suffer the consequences. Now, the people that don't want to do anything, let them stay on the side. There's always people that don't want to do anything. There's always people that want you to do all the sacrificing and they'll ride on whatever, however it turns out. They'll go along with it. Some of it take credit for it after you do it. And then there's some people that just will not do anything. They're not going to do it. They're just not going to do it. 
And then there are some people that are going to say, yes, we're going to get out there and we're going to fight. It's not the masses that get out there and fight and take time to find out what to do. It's a small group of people that do. But right now, I don't care what anybody says, Nigeria is not a sovereign country. You can look it up. Nigeria is under neo-colonialism, which is a added, <laughs> it's just a different way to say colonization. Neo-colonialism says that you look like you are sovereign, but you really aren't. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. to still ask me a power because you don't know how to operate on your own. That's right. The only way you're going to make it is that I help you. And I'm helping you not for your benefit, but for my benefit. Because there's one thing Trump says, I have to give it to him. We're going to do it for America. We're going to take America first. Now, right now, Trump said a few this right now that if he would have been in the White House and been president, the situation with the country, Venezuela, that me, you might not know too much about Venezuela, where they have a lot of oil. He said, if it had been up to me, we would have gotten Venezuela over with, taking it over and taking that oil would have been ours. So that shows you that when they t when the United States takes over something, they got a purpose. It's not because you they want you to have liberty and peace and, and democracy and all this. Stuff. You got what they want. Can you name some of the things that the United States would want here in, Ni in Nigeria? What they would want in Nigeria? Yeah. They're already we brain drain. We give these people everything. They have petrol. We got petrol. And, and but we have crude oil. I mentioned yeah. it. And we, crude oil. Yeah. You got the crude oil and the the, the man. And our food what, What's the man's name that did the, 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 did the refinery? Yeah, Dangote. Dangote. Dangote got a refinery to get the crude oil to make things cheaper inside Nigeria. And they don't want to sell him the crude oil. And he's a Nigerian in Nigeria. And that's Nigeria's crude oil. They're sending the crude oil overseas they got other refineries in nigeria public refineries they're owned by the government and instead of refining their own oil they're sending their oil across the that's highway right. that's right and then taking the oil back mm -hmm. what in the you know, i'm gonna say i'm gonna be nice <laughs> uh -huh. what in the h-e-double-l -E -L mm -hmm. is going on why is it why is it that they're stuck with Exxon and all these other countries that are making money from us, from the African people? Aren't we just fed up with it? When are we going to get tired of being screwed in every offices, meaning every opening that we have? When are we going to get tired of being misused and abused? When are we going to get tired of it and just make a stand? And those that are in office, what's his name, Tanubu? Or anybody, That's anybody this week, I read something that Obi is like, mm -hmm. but he's a nice guy. We don't need no nice guys. We need somebody that's going to be like those three guys in, in, in Sahel. That's going to say, we're not taking it anymore. That's right. That's we're right. not taking it anymore. We want our health care. We want jobs. We want our economy back. We want good pricing. We, want a, we don't want our sons and daughters to keep, have some hope in our economy. We're a rich country, and we want to look like Saudi Arabia because we got more than Saudi Arabia looks like has. That's right. Saudi Arabia doesn't have what we have. It doesn't even have the intelligence that we have. In fact, they don't even have. They don't what have, have what we have. They, don't they have need us. They don't have anything that we have. We they don't have, have anything that we have. Why yeah. is it? Yeah. You yeah. tell me. You tell me, Frank. You tell me why. Government. Damn it! I'm getting tired of people talking about the government. And we are the government. The people. People You're the people. Yes. You make some demand, but he give you a cookie. They give you a cookie and a little bit of something, and then you get on the high horse and say you got something. You get your belly full, and the rest of the people around you are walking around without anything, and you close your eyes and act like you're blind, like I am, that you can't see. 
that you can't see what's going on around you. And that's what, what is happening. That you don't know you. what's going on around mm -hmm. you. You're, you're, I don't have a PhD. Mm -hmm. I don't have a master's. I don't have a bachelor's degree. I don't have any of them, but I'm not stupid enough to not to know what in the devil is going on. All you have to, and these people know what's going on. These people know what's going on and how it's being used, and they're just sick. They're sick. And the other people are sick and tired, and there's old people dying, young people that are, are unhealthy because of what's going on. <clears throat> this is either going to be a cute march or we're going to get things done. Mm -hmm. We're going to either get things done and say, hell no, you ain't going to do it to us anymore. We're not going to take it. And you can talk to me about saying the word hell because, hey, let me tell you something. I really don't give a fat rat and cheese heaven because we need to make a change, Frank. We need to make a change, Odenaka. That's right, and that's what we we need right to stand now. for who we are. We are for African country. people. We I don't care I whether we're in the United people. States mm -hmm. or whether we're here in the United States. They're crying about reparations. Take those doggone reparations. That's right. Pull them by. Take them. Stop asking people to do something for you. Sure. Do it yourself. Make a stand. Get together. Put your arms together. Forget about the fact you're a Christian and the other person is a Muslim. Forget about the fact that you're an Igbo uh, 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 and not a Hauser and not a, not a, a Fulani or not a, you know, whatever. Let's stick out this Forget about it. I mean, all over Africa. And these leaders that warn you to say that if I'm doing wrong to you, don't worry about it, but you go out there and protest, I'm going to kill you. What in the, you know? I wish I was leading this thing. I wish I was leading that thing. I'm not, I've never been in the military, but I'm a military wife. And I know if you show facts, strong forces, you're going to have a front line that might get killed. You're going to have it. But they can't beat you if you don't let them. And there's countries, look at, look at Nicaragua, look it up. Nicaragua's been fighting and they they go back the united states go back and leave them alone for a while and then they come back to bother them again to destabilize them nicaragua is not bothering the united states why are they bothering nicaragua venezuela wasn't bothering the united states why are they bother venezuela because they want imperialists they want control and we're like lackey dogs mm -hmm. we so want to be akin to those People that we think and we look up to that we'll just take anything they say. A man can say that he, he called us a shithole country and come back and tell us how much he likes uh, Obi and that, that, uh, that Tanubu is uh, stupid. Who in the hell is he to say Tanubu? We even ought to get mad at him because he, say, he said Tanubu might be stupid, but he's our stupid person. I don't want you talking about him. I don't want to talk, you talking about anybody that belongs to me. You handle those people that belong to you. Don't, don't, I'm not asking you for your, who you like and who you don't like. My, my household is not any of your business. You've been in my stuff too much. I want you, United States, France, Europe, I want you to keep the devil, your mouth, your foot, your hands out of my country that's and out right. of my business. That's right, that's right. Do you agree? I yes. agree. Totally agree I with agree. you. I, I want you to get, get to going. I don't mind trading with you. I don't mind doing those things, but where I got to go to you to get your approval and to find you can't even run your own doggone country. You're not even treating the black folks over there. You, they, uh, over there right. And you want to say how you, your friends come over here, Trump, and they make money? Yeah, that's what's wrong with us. Y'all coming over here and making money and leaving us poor. We ain't mad at you. We mad at the whole situation. We mad at ourselves for even looking to you to do anything or say anything. Mm -hmm. And then you're trying to tell us who to talk to.
It's just amazing. I went and talked to them. Let me tell you something. We need to arise, Africa. We've been asleep too long, too hard, too much. We need to wake up. We need to wake up and make a stand. And I'm going to tell you something, Olinaka. His name is Olinaka because he's he say Emmanuel. That's what they gave him. Yeah. Right. But I'm going to tell you something. His African name is Olinaka. We got to hold on to what's ours and stop soft peddling. You don't really realize how weak a lot of things have made us. That there's no reason at all. You don't know how much. The United States went into Vietnam and they took bombs, they took poison, they took everything. They lost 58,000 troops in, the United, in, 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 in uh, Vietnam. And Vietnamese people had them running out of Vietnam. You understand me? Yes, it's time. And we, what were we doing over there in Vietnam to democratize Vietnam? We're going to kill people to democratize them. To make them Democrats. Can you imagine? We're going to kill you to make you a not, so you won't be a communist. So we're going to kill you. We're going to kill you because you your, uh, and your women and children and everything. So you'll teach your women till your women will have rights and freedom. We're going to kill you for that. And we're going to kill the women too. We go in countries to set people free. So are you telling me that you can't? Nigeria, you, are you telling me, are you trying to convince me? You got, the, you got children that are beating children intelligence-wise all over the world. And you telling me that you're helpless? That you're hopeless? That you don't have any food? That you can't eat? You got oil? You got gold? You got... Uh, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. And you're telling me you're hungry? You need to find out why. And stop fooling around with these special talks. You're just like we are in the United States, we black folks. We do a lot of talking, but not too much walking. And we're always taking people as our friend. We need to be friends with each other. And those of us that can't stand, leave them alone. Don't try to convince them. You going out there and you do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about killing anybody. I'm talking about you press it through. You tell them no, they can't do it to you no, anymore. Mm -hmm. You got the oil. But they don't need to come in and capture you like they do Venezuela. They just come in and you give it to them. They don't need to fight you for it. I'm finished. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can say what you want to say about me. I'm 81, and I'm telling you what, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not lying. I'm not lying at all. If those three young men, Molly, Bikina Foster, and Niger, can make a change and turn things around, and they're not even known for the intellectual power or the richness in those countries as they're known in Nigeria. And you mean you can't do anything? We can. <laughs> we can stand as one. Huh? We should just stand out and stand as one. You can stand as one. Mm -hmm. You can make it. They already took slaves out of there. They took my family out of there. Out of Nigeria, they put my great grandmother, grandfather on that boat and ship and send it over. And now we're running to get on the boat. And there are friends, there are people that have raped us, robbed us, enslaved us, mistreated us, colonized us. But we want their, we want their stuff. Instead of making our stuff ourselves, we got the scientists, we got all the capabilities to do everything they have and more. We helped build that stuff. And we're waiting for them to help us. 
We're going to have to cut this video in half. But I'm going to tell you something. I love you all. I think you're great. But you know what? You're going to have to live in this world. You're going to have to live in this world. And I'm sorry. I don't want us to. We don't. It's no sense in doing that. We're some of the most powerful people in the world. But I'm beginning to blame. Think I don't know what it is. I don't know why we turn around the man that beat us, enslaved us, raped us, robbed us, treated us like animals, that we regard him and respect him. That we regard him and respect him. We honor them. We want their opinion. We got people like Rudolph, the president of Kenya, like a lackey running up behind them to get their approval. And the United States is confused. Look at that. They had a private president. They tried to run as a president. And he, he didn't know where he was half the time. Now they stuck the president in with a woman that looked like she's a black woman. I'm going to tell you something. Be afraid of those people that look black that got, oh, you know, whatever. They don't do it. They haven't. She already said she ain't going to do nothing special for black people. And that includes you, Africa. <laughs> when she said black people, she just wasn't talking about the American black people. She's talking about you. And you already know what Trump said. And just because he had arrest for four years, he did not change his mind. There was a young man that got on his knees in a game to bring forth the problem we have about young men and women being shot in the back. And these are the people you want advice from. These are the people you want to make your friends. And they ruined his career. And he wasn't because he shot anybody or stole something from anybody. He just got on his knee and tried to make a protest to protest the sea. And Trump said he was a son of a you know what. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Yes. Now, this is the same Trump black people that you're going to go vote for. You better make a deal with him, sign him some papers that he's going to do something for you or he's going to get in the White House. You're going to do the same doggone thing. Stock market. You better be looking towards Africa because I'm going to tell you something. Things are going to happen here. Things are going to happen because people are getting tired. These young people are out there marching because they're tired. So if you got money, you can send money to help support, send it. Whatever you can do to send to help support, send it, do it. We're in this together. They don't separate us. Mm -hmm. Never. They don't separate us, Frank. Never. Never. They act like because you're a little bit lighter, you're all right. Or a little bit, little bit darker, then you got a problem. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But we're all in the same barrel, whether we white, whether we got skin that they can't hardly tell, whether we white or black. When we let them know we black because we got a black daddy or black mama, then they, they, they do a little bit different. They don't love us. Mm -hmm. The powers that be. They never loved us. Never do. And Frank, let me tell you something. Them white people don't have any more freedom. Look at Ukraine. Look at what's going on. White folks are being killed and slaughtered because of the power, <clears throat> the want for imperialism. It's imperialism. Wanting world domination. If they dominate Africa, they got it. That we're not by ourselves, but we should be worried about ourselves. Let the people in Ukraine worry about the people in Ukraine. Yes. Let the Polish people and the French people and all, let them worry that they belong to them. <clears throat> and let's be concerned about ourselves. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to close church right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Let's get with it. Join those young people out there marching. You might not be able to come to Nigeria to do it and get in the street. 
but you can join them with your support. There's all kind of YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Instagram, and, Facebook. and Facebook information that's online to tell you what's going on. Get informed so you, because information, a person with knowledge is more dangerous than a person with a gun. That's right. So yeah. get informed. Now, Black Sea Radio dot com on Saturday. Hey, eight o'clock central time. Look at the schedule and see when I'm on. We got more for you. Mwah, I love ya. Ooh, ooh. Love you. Hey, I ain't mad. <laughs> hey, this is Janelle and you're watching Africa Speak. Oh.